I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will explore composite functions. Question is for f of theta equals to cos theta and g of theta equals to theta plus pi by 3 find g of f of pi by 2 and f of g of pi by 3. Right. So as in some of the videos we will do it in two different colors. There are two different functions and it will help you to understand. Right. So we have g of and let me write this as f of pi by 2 correct so that is the composite function which we need to evaluate right now in this case what is f of pi by 2 so we can write this as the g the outside function we have to start with the inside function right so f of theta is cos theta so f of pi by 2 will be cos pi by 2 right so we can write this as cos of pi by 2 now as you know cos of pi by 2 is 0 right so we can write here cos of pi by 2 is 0 so we can write g of 0 now that really means that now we have to use the second function which is g theta equals to theta plus pi by 3 right where theta is to be substituted by 0 correct so we get our solution which is 0 plus pi by 3 and our answer is equals to pi by 3 right so that is how you have to evaluate composite functions I like you to pause the video and do the second question on your own right you have to follow exactly the same procedure let's do it so we have the function f of g of pi by 3 this time is the inside function which we are going to evaluate first right so what we have here is f of now g of pi by 3 means I have to replace theta with pi by 3 correct so we have pi by 3 plus pi by 3 which is 2 pi by 3 right so we could write this as f of now we can combine them which is 2 pi by 3 now it really means that I have to substitute 2 pi by 3 in f theta right so I can write this as cos of 2 pi by 3. Now what is cos of 2 pi by 3? Can you tell me that? So cos of 2 pi by 3, let's find the acute angle, means an angle which is in second quadrant, right? So this is, let's say, 1 pi by 3. This is 2 pi by 3, right? So that is 2 pi by 3, the principal angle. The acute angle is pi by 3, right? So since we are in quadrant 2 this value is negative is that okay so I could write this as and then let me also make a standard triangle special triangle which is pi by 3 triangle we have acute angle of pi by 3 so in this triangle this is pi by 3 right and the sides are 1 2 square root 3 so we can now write down our answer as cos of 2 pi by 3 will be negative since we are in quadrant 2 and cos is adjacent side over hypotenuse so negative half is our answer right so we get negative half as solution for part b i hope that helps thank you and all the best